The other day we got a phone call from Pastor Gabriel. He's a friend of ours. We've worked with him many times. He's in charge of multiple churches down in Finca Blanco in the Puerto Amoyas area. These guys were locked down because of the COVID problems. They're having a lot of issues in the big town, but this also affected them out in the middle of nowhere in the banana fields, the old Chiquita fields. And so because of the new laws, they're not able to get out and buy food and take care of their families. They're not allowed to work. They're locked in their homes. So he called us and he said, hey, we're in trouble here. We've got about 150 families that are in deep need of food. We can't get out to get it. So we activated the call. Our team put the call out to people in Canada, Europe, and US, all through Latin America, and all of a sudden funds came in. And so we loaded up the trucks with rice, beans, vegetables, and took two big truckloads down, 300 bags, about 7,500 pounds of food, and we distributed all day long to these families in these little communities. I'm Dr. Daniel Daves, and we are in Finca Blanco, Panama. If you've ever looked on the map and found nowhere, well, this is right in the middle of nowhere. We're out 30 minutes in the middle of the plantain and banana fields. The old Chiquita plantation, when it folded, these communities went to nothing. They've been living in poverty, but we have an opportunity here. These guys were locked down because of the horrid corona problem, and uh, they have no access to food. They can't legally come out of their houses and go to work. They can't legally come out of their houses and go get food 35, 40 minutes away. So we're bringing a couple truckloads of necessity food provision for them in the name of Jesus to help them get through this critical period. Pastor Gabriel, is a wonderful man who has churches in all the little uh, communities around here and we're helping him provide food to his people and to those that don't know the Lord who are struggling with no jobs and no food. In this country, if you don't work, you don't eat. And in this country, when people aren't eating, we go to work. So we're saddling up, it's time to get to work. We did it all in the name of Jesus. We told them God has not forgotten about you. He heard your prayer and people from around the world responded and wanted to help their brothers and sisters. The people were very, very blessed. They were clapping and shouting and they were so happy to see the trucks come in with the food that they so desperately needed for their families. And so going along with us today on this video tour, you've been able to ride shotgun with us and see exactly what happens as we go feed the poor and those who are desperate in need all around Cherokee and through Panama. Thank you for your love and your prayers. Thank you for your support with Global Food Providers. 
It's time to get to work when people can't work and eat.